Greetings, beautiful people. Welcome to Inspirational Spotlight. Today's inspiration is the phenomenal, gorgeous, and fearless woman warrior, Marjorie Hill. Marjorie was born and raised in bedford Stuy, I believe it's a section of um, Brooklyn, New York. She earned her bachelor's degree and her PhD from Adelphi University, but in between, she would get her master's from the Institute of Advanced Psychologist Studies, and as a result, she's a licensed clinical psychologist. Marjorie's involvement with HIV and AIDS was clinched early because she had a friend who had AIDS, who, had, who was HIV positive and had AIDS, or what she refers to as a PWA, a person with AIDS. And um, it was a time, it was, it was during the early years of AIDS when it was called GRID, gay-related immune deficiency. And it was clear to Marjorie that this unknown disease um, wasn't just affecting gay men, but it was also affecting women as well. And in an interview, she recalls the horror her poor friend experienced as a result of the ignorance and the fear of the healthcare workers and, and, and even people in the community. Marjorie has held many positions. Some include serving as director of New York City's Mayor's Office for the Lesbian and Gay Community under Dinkins' administration. She was commissioner for uh, the New York State Workers' Compensation Board Assistant Commissioner for the Bureau of HIV and AIDS at the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, and she also served as Managing Director for Community Health and the Women's Institute at the Gay Men's Cri Health Crisis Center, I believe it's called, or maybe it's just called Gay Men's Health Crisis. However, uh, Marjorie is now the Chief Executive Officer of GMHC, which happens to be the nation's first and oldest AIDS service organization and advocacy organization. What's interesting about GMHC is that they serve um, their clients, over 60% of their clients are people of color, and 25% of their clients are women. Um, in fact, GMHC serves more women than any other organization in the country. Marjorie has been involved in numerous organizations, efforts, committees, boards, and is a well sought after advisor. She has held faculty appointments with several academic institutions and has lots of publications to her credit. She has amassed lots and lots and lots of awards for her amazing work over the years. But one of the things that she is most especially proud of is her work with the Needle Exchange Expansion Program in New York. There's no way to put it. Marjorie has been a longtime LGBTQ community activist and a front line leader in this fight to eradicate HIV and AIDS. Marjorie said this in a recent interview. If you can't talk about the ways you contract HIV, if you can't exchange information, then guess what? People die. This has been the challenge of AIDS from the very beginning and it continues to be the challenge today. We still have a lot of work to do, but guess what? I'm encouraged every single day. Dr. Marjorie Hill, today's Inspirational Spotlight.